Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Marcus and today in this video I will share with you how to design and animate this kinetic typography using Adobe After Effects. So let's go. So let's start. Let's set up our composition, I'm going to name my kinetic type 012, let's make it 1080 by 1080 at 30 frames per second, 10 seconds duration and press OK. Now let's select the type tool and let's write something. I'm gonna write H3H3, another tribute to one of my favorite podcasts. If you are out of the internet gossip, go there. It's always hours of fun entertainment. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Today is a simple animation to execute, but the visual is impressive. So before we start moving things, let's move the anchor point into the bottom middle. Then press S for scale and mark a keyframe with the text at 100%. Then let's move the timeline needle to 5 seconds and increase the scale of the text until it almost reaches the limits of our composition. Then let's move the timeline needle to the second 10 and let's mark another keyframe at 100%. Let's give it a little preview and it's quite boring Marcus. Ok, so let's adjust the scale animation curves to make it more interesting. Give it a little preview and it's still just text scaling. Not cool Marcus, not cool. So let's go back to the first frame. And let's mark a rotation keyframe and leave it at zero rotation. Then let's move our timeline needle to the last frame and let's do another keyframe at a rotation value at two. Give it a little preview and it's still very boring, Marcus. And I will say, okay, fair enough. Let's apply some effects then. Let's go to effects, stylize, and use our old friend CC Repetile. Make all the expand values at 2000 and on the tiling choose unfold. Give it a little preview again and it's looking much better. But let's apply another effect. Let's go to Effects, Distort and select Transform. And now let's edit the Transform settings. On a scale let's make it 50 and then on a skew value let's make it 30, then a skew axis at 45 degrees and a rotation at 25 degrees. These are the values I use, but please feel free to play around and experiment with different values. And with all of that, let's give it a little preview. And yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple technically, but the visual is lovely and it kind of looks like a little bit complex to achieve when it's actually really simple. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.